What's up guys? We are Pacific North Wild and today we are going to do a backpacking food review and they are called Ready Wise. So boys, what are we, uh, what are we trying first today? I think we're going to start off with breakfast. All right. With a little breakfast skillet. We've all had mountain house breakfast skillets, peak refuel breakfast skillets. Backpacker's pantry. Backpacker's pantry. We've never had Ready Wise. This is uh, my honest to God first uh, taste of anything Ready Wise. We are not sponsored, but they did send us all this tasty stuff and you're gonna get a first time real life live reaction of all this stuff. If you guys are gonna spend your hard earned money, you can find Ready Wise at Costco and uh, readywise.com. So, uh, the breakfast skillet here, eggs, sausage, peppers, breakfast seasonings, and it's uh, 470 calories for the whole container, uh, 22 grams of fat, 50 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of protein. Uh, two cups of boiling water, 12 to 15 minutes. So pretty standard with like a mountain house or anything like that. Two cups of water is quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It's definitely more than like peak yeah. is pretty low. That's a lot water, of water, man. But, That's a lot of water. But, especially uh, when you, you all know water is scarce sometimes. Mm -hmm. Two cups is quite a bit. Um, but if it's tasty, I bet you Bob would pack that water. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Pack peanut butter. <laughs> Don't pack water. Yeah. That's right. Not super high on the calories for that all breakfast right, skillet, but... One scoop. We all know how it goes. Yep. How's it smell? It smells like a breakfast skillet. You'll probably have to mix it up a little bit. We yep. did add the boiling water about 15 minutes ago. All right, let Fish. me make sure I get egg, sausage, a little bit of everything. That looks good. Yeah, visually it looks... Visually, it uh, looks tasty. Oh, doing the sniff test a Bob. It actually looks and smells pretty damn good. Look at that bite. <laughs> We're not shy with bites around here. No. Okay, not gonna lie, this looks incredible. It looks like a legit breakfast scramble. All right, here we go. I'm saving, saving any opinion until after Jeff gets his bite. It was cooked well, Bob. You did Pop. good on the water. I thought it did good. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I will Damn say, good. I will say it's a little on the bland side, but it's good. It's definitely like comparable to a mountain house. Okay, so breakfast. for each meal, let's do a scale one to ten. Well, just what do you like think? a go hunt video, obviously, huh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Um, as far as a breakfast skillet goes, I'm gonna say six and a half. Needs needs a little bit of something like. I mean, oh, I'm, I'm way above that. Barbecue sauce in that thing would kill sriracha, it. Sriracha. Sriracha would be good. A or bit of salt and pepper. It might be better too on a tortilla. Like make a little breakfast burrito out of that and yeah. that would be bomb. This to me is light years ahead of the mountain house, just <clears throat> traditional breakfast skillet. In my opinion, that's better than mountain houses. Peaks, I think Peaks is better, mm -hmm. but mountain house, that's better. I wish this had more meat and the one thing i miss like like the mountain house has like the hash browns in it like the potato yeah if that if that thing had like the potato like that part of your stuff so like this has hash browns right like a strip like a uh, this doesn't i don't think no. i swear there was no a egg sausage peppers breakfast seasoning mm. so no potato okay. all right bob where you at i think i'll give it a seven um like it that. is slightly bland but overall I think it's pretty dang good. We just had a steak dinner and I, I, I want to keep eating it. <laughs> so. Save it till the end. Uh, I'll give it an 8.5. No, no joke. Ooh. No joke. That is really good to me. And you're uh, not normally a breakfast person. No, either. that is that is damn good. It I'm is a big good. Fan of that. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of that. I would absolutely pack and use two cups of water for that for a breakfast. Yep. 470 calories for a pack. I mean, that's a good... That's a top run. So yeah, yeah initially... A start to your day. I thought 470, that's not that high for like it's a, top a meal. Yeah. But while eating that, if I ate that whole thing, I'd be full. Yeah. There's for a sure. lot of food in there and it's dense. It's like you starchy. Guys saw those bites. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. All right. Well done. Ready wise, in my opinion, breakfast skillet, I'd get it. That's All a right. thumbs up for me. So, uh, we're hiking. There we're you hiking. Go. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, time, time lapses. 
Lunchtime. <laughs> hey -o. Oh, mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, here so, we go. We're all know, five years old again. Yeah, <laughs> the, the picture on the front looks like Kraft mac and cheese. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting flashbacks. Yeah. Again, it's two cups of boiling water, uh, 630 calories for the packet. It's a good lunch. 12 grams of fat. 108 grams of carbs, so you're gonna get a nice little energy boost. Oh, okay, and then a or, crash. Or go into a coma. Yeah. <laughs> and 16 grams of protein. So, my initial thoughts is pack in some pepperoni sticks, Ooh. chop those up, and throw them in here. Or some, t if you have uh, some beef, beef jer jerky. Beef jerky, anything like that. Maybe some back straps. Oh, it looks like Kraft macaroni. Get out of cheese. <laughs> Oh yeah, bring it on. Yeah, okay. That's it. Stir that yeah, up. Let's that go. That smells really good. That smells like legit mac and cheese. Oh, <laughs> way. Okay, this one, this one, I'm already kind of excited about. <laughs> that was a nice bite too. Solid bite. See, I'm thinking when I saw that bite, maybe a little hot sauce. Ooh, yeah. A sriracha. Some, some Franks or something. Tapatio. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, keep it to yourself there. No cheating here. All right, fork it over. <laughs> it's thick. Like, that is cheesy mac and cheese. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five again. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the babysitter just made me dinner. <laughs> Jeff went in for two bites. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a hefty one. that go ahead that's damn good like I said I think for me I'm always looking for a little bit higher protein count so I would have like pepperoni sticks lamb yakers beef jerky something mm -hmm. and add it to this oh my god that would be that would be next next level this just by itself I'm gonna give it an eight I'm definitely gonna pack this I would okay. I would definitely eat this absolutely Bob Man, I'll step it up and go 8.5. Wow. Like that hit me it's very like, nicely. That was good. It's like the price is right. You just keep like bumping right above me. Yeah. That was very good. I was surprised. And 630 calories, that's a nice dinner or midday lunch. Mm -hmm. 630 is a lot. Take, take this and have this as your midday snack while you're glassing the you add a little two, nap. You Ooh. add a tuna packet to that, you're pushing 800 calories. Yeah, tuna um, packet would be good too. A tuna packet that especially if you got like a like a buffalo chicken Ooh, yeah. um something like that you add that to that you're pushing 800 calories that's a huge dinner mm. um, we all know mountain houses the traditional freeze-dried or um uh, dehydrated meals they don't pack that many calories uh you add stuff like that that's setting up the next level taste wise for me i'm gonna go down uh, that wasn't quite my favorite i'll put that at like a seven uh I, the flavor of the breakfast skillet beat that mac and cheese it was thick it was cheesy just, oh, I didn't prefer that cheesy taste um, that they, they did in that one. So, still, uh, I'd pack it, I would eat it, but that doesn't excite me, and I wouldn't rate it highly on my mac and cheese scale, so. Yeah, so for me, that's two wins. I am gonna pack the breakfast skillet, and then lunch, I'm eating mac and cheese. Yeah. That was yeah, good. That was good. I, I would eat the mac and cheese over like a Top Ramen. Oh, Top Ramen. For sure. All the, really, mac and cheese over Top Ramen? Oh yeah. Wow. Cheese? It, cheese? It's because you like the broth. I love the broth. Yep, I'm cold. Gotta drink it. All right, on to the next. It's right. supper time. We just killed a buck. Yep, we just killed a buck. We're packing out. Uh, maybe mid pack. It's a uh -huh. it's a long, oh, yeah. arduous pack. Oh shit, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a bad one. Uh, we're gonna go with lasagna with sausage. Okay. Mmm. This one, 710 calories for the package. So that's another that's big, lot. big, big meal. 24 grams of fat. 91 grams of carbs and 30 grams of protein. So it's our highest protein count so far. Got some uh, sausage in there. level yep. is redlining okay. right now for this. Two, <laughs> two cups of water again, so all of these have been the same. 12 to 15 minutes. It must add each bag has like a riddle and a joke attached yeah. for some entertainment. And a camping hack. So, oh. so it gives you some little camping tips and tricks, jokes, riddles. Nice player yourself. anyways, nice yeah, player. Yeah, entertain yourself around the camp. Pretty cool. Yep. That one smells good. Okay. It looks looks like a spaghetti with meat sauce. Okay. But we can roll with that. Yeah. <clears throat> mix up. Pretty good on the water. Maybe not enough. Yeah, not quite enough, but we can make it work. I just kind of guessed. Yeah. 
Ooh, nice bite. That was a solid bite. Oh, he licked the spoon. <laughs> Again, this excites me. This looks good. It's thick. Again, like the mac and cheese, that one's thick too. Like, you pick it up, it's got some girth to it. Mm. Well, that was, oh. that was an immediate answer for Jeff. Oh. <laughs> Wow, triple, triple scoop. <clears throat> I want to keep going too. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. So I think we've had, we've done the lasagna for Mountain House. Mm -hmm. That one is tasty, but mm -hmm. God damn it, it's annoying with that sticky mm -hmm. ass cheese on your, your spoon. Your spoon. Well, you, know, you need to lick it. Yeah, you get it off. A there. piece of pepper down the throat. <laughs> I am getting, holy Dude. shit. Dude. <laughs> I am getting some residual cheese. But it's not near as bad as the Mountain House. Yeah, that one can get pretty ugly. It won't ruin your spoon. You though. need <laughs> you need the long, because yep. you will also be covered in knuckles down yeah. with cheese. I'm gonna kick that off going, that doesn't get much better in my book. That's a, that's a 9.8. Woo, that, wow. That, no joke, that is up there. That was delicious. Absolutely hit that out of the park. Uh, huge fan of that. Absolutely pack that every trip. Wow. That's going to be one of your go-tos yeah, from that now doesn't, on? Yeah, that doesn't get much better. Between that and like the Mountain House Chicken Alfredo. The pesto. Uh, yeah, the peak pesto. That's amazing. Um, find what you love and, and stick with it, but don't overeat it. I learned that the hard way in Zach and I's hunt back in 2016. Gross. Um, I'm just, I can never smell Mountain House Chili Mac ever again. I'm never <laughs> going to smell it, look at it. I can't even, yeah. But wow, ready wise. I'm that that's so talking my 9.8 9.8 it doesn't get much better in my book for a for a freeze-dried meal that yeah Bob um, I'm not a huge fan of a red sauce but that was pretty damn good uh, like like a fennuccini or a beef stroganoff is usually my favorite I'll give it a solid eight it was very good mm. I'm surprised by these right wise meals yeah Me they're good I've never tried them before like I, I'm pretty surprised too yeah. I never really even given them, I've never really heard of them. We saw yep. them down in Salt Lake. Yeah, full Expo. disclosure. Yep. Met him at Salt Lake, exchanged business cards, sent a couple emails, and he's like happy to happy to give you guys some some meals to try it out. So here it is, live, legit, all of our first time. Thanks again, Ready Wise, for supplying these meals. Uh, it works because I'm packing lasagna and breakfast skillet <laughs> this year. So. No, no joke. I'd take all those. Yeah. yeah. This one I'm gonna go right at a solid eight. Nice. I, I think that's a solid dinner. I mean, I, oh yeah, it's it's good. Like I said, it's like thick red sauce, mm -hmm. um, and it's got nice little sausage bites in it. It yeah, it was just all around a, a good dinner. Yeah, I, I would have no problem packing. And that one's got 710 calories for the whole bag, so yep. it's bumped up a little bit. Yeah, that's similar to like some of the other pasta freeze dried meals, like some of the peaks and the mountain houses. The the, the pasta always packs <clears throat> those calories in. Yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't yeah. expect much less than that. Yeah. But yeah, that's a that's a good number that's gonna give you a lot of fuel to continue that packing. I would be stoked. Like me and Bobby and and, and us all, all the time will be whether it's you know, glass and there's nothing really going on or you're you're butchering out a buck. You're packing the camp. Bob is notorious for what's for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to be excited for what you have back at camp, and that would excite me. Bob, would that excite you? It would. Yeah. Okay. Zach, N knowing that that was in your in yeah your, in your day pack, yeah, like, yeah, ready to go. Yeah, I'd I'd be ready to get back for that one. For sure. Yeah. There you go. That's all you need, guys. Yep. All right. So packing back, packing yep. back. It's now midnight. Oh. We just got back to camp. Is this a midnight lift up? This is a midnight snack. Ooh. We're we're just starving. Okay. All right. This is. This is Chris McCallum and I at 3.40 in the morning. There you go. Need, coming down from a bear hunt. <laughs> need, needing some fuel to yep, get you back. Yep, okay, I'm so, stepping in. Spicy Asian noodles. And this one is vegan. This right? one is vegan, yeah. So there's no meat, uh, no cheese, no nothing. No dairy. No, yep. Uh, 550 calories, so it's a little on the lower side. Um, three grams of fat, so real low fat. 114 grams of carbs though. So it's just, it's a straight carb meal. Not gonna lie, I'm not <clears> super <throat> excited about it. Yeah, Eight, um, 18 grams of protein. So decent on the protein, okay. but. Like you said, it's a, it's a pick me up, you're, you're in a pinch. Yep, you just need some, 
cheap energy, some cheap yeah. warm energy. Yeah. You can always get cheap carbs from gummies and yeah. bars and stuff, but if you just need that warm meal. Yeah, before you judge too much, uh, is, is Top Ramen vegan? It probably is, right? Probably. It's just noodles and yeah. salt. And yeah. So yeah, before you judge too much, Top Ramen's vegan. So. It, it smells... Spicy. Like, I'll tell you that like, when they were adding like, water to it. Like spicy Asian food. I am a, fu a fan of spice. So. I, I can do some spice, but I don't get down on like painful spice. So oh. we'll see. It looks good. It looks like a... It smelled damn good. Mm -hmm. I'm going for it. Oh boy. Hopefully it's not too spicy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Mouth's on fire. He's running for the toilet. It's spicy. Is it? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> We gotta have a spice scale too. I know everyone's. It's, that's damn good though. Bob loves it. Bob loves food. I already know what I'm gonna say about this one. Oh my. This one, if you need flavor in the backcountry, oh yeah. get that. That thing is not lacking in flavor. Wow. That is for sure. I'm going like, in again. Wow, he's going back, Zach. This is not, this is far from bland. Extremely flavorful. It's spicy, yeah. but it's not overbearing. Yeah. Like I could eat that whole thing. My mouth would be uh, like hurting a little bit. Yeah. Probably get a little runny nose, but hey, you need to be cleared out every now and then. Oh, wow. If bland is Washington, we're in Florida, guys. Yeah. This, this thing is flavor. Flavor packed. Yeah, that thing's got a lot of flavor. My nose is gonna be running now. A little spicy. <laughs> it is. Okay, uh, spice scale, Zach. Where you put it? Mm, it's like a solid three out of five. Let's three say. out of like five. One, like a you know normal yep. Asian restaurant. One to five stars. It's like a two and a half, three star. Yeah. To me. Bob, yeah. Where we're, is that? I usually order a four star at an Asian restaurant. That's a three. Okay. Uh, I don't know because I don't go to those. <laughs> But it's spicy. I, I would say out of a five, I would just put it right where Zach, to, middle of the road. Mm -hmm. I, I could eat that whole thing and not just be like, I'm killing myself right now. Uh, all in all, I'm, I'm gonna give that up there too, eight and a half. Like I could eat that. I, I'm, I'm super happy with that. That's got a ton of flavor. It's the most flavorful out of all of them. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. It's got a, a huge flavor range. Yeah. It's just the punch of that spice. I'd say they're all pretty flavorful, but that yeah. one does have a nice kick. Yep. All right, Zach, where do you put it? Out of 10. I'm gonna give it like a seven and a half. Okay. It's, it's, pro it's not my favorite. I would rather have the lasagna, mm -hmm. um, but it would be comparable with like the mac and cheese. Um, that one just, it just has so much flavor and it would be such a different flavor like profile yeah. to have in the back country. Like freeze dried meals, you typically don't get spicy Asian food yeah. mm -hmm. with those. So it'd be like something really different. It'd be like a nice oddball to throw in my pack. So it's like day four of a 10 day hunt or something like that. Pull that guy out, eat something that doesn't just taste like everything else that yeah. you're gonna be eating. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> yeah, I think I would give it a seven. And I'm only saying I'd give it a seven because it's vegan. Uh, if they were to throw some like pork, chicken, or even beef in there, yeah. it would be, it'd make it way better in my opinion. You get some of that real soft beef jerky and throw yeah. it in there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's like really good. The, the spice is awesome. It's a different flavor, like Zach was saying, that you're used to in the backcountry. So I'll give it a seven. Really good though. Wow. Ready wise. <laughs> you're doing good. All right, now it's time for dessert. We're celebrating. Oh, <laughs> Ready wise has trail treats cookie dough snacks so we're gonna eat some cookie dough how much water does this take none so it's just pull out of your pack rip pull it, it open out. it's just a chunks of cookie dough just, just cookie dough Cook. yep this is the perfect treat to end the day ready to eat and no mess or to start it yeah breakfast <laughs> all right take a couple crumbles so it's 480 calories for the whole bag which is it's a substantial amount of cookie dough in there 24 grams of fat 66 grams of carbs and three grams of protein. Hmm. But not high on the sugar, which is nice. Only 13 grams of sugar. So you're not just getting like that candy sugar high. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're five again. Mm -hmm. Back to five with macaroni and cookie dough bites. <laughs> I like that they're crunchy. 
I'm like a, I crave crunchy stuff. Just like in everyday life. So I like chips, <clears throat> things like that. So I like eat a lot of pretzels and I like that crunchy texture. So to have something like that in the backcountry with like that's crunchy and like sweet. That's a very nice treat to pull out of your pack. Yeah. This would be like coming down from high buck. You're in the middle of that disgusting pack out yeah. and you need to pick me up. Yeah. Or if you just missed a buck and you're yeah. like really down on yourself. You want to like emotionally eat, <laughs> eat these. I think Maybe, these cookie uh, bites will save your day. Another good uh, time for this is basically anytime. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> they're good. Wow. They're damn good. That is, a, that is a cool treat. Okay, normally I'm not a big dessert guy or sweets guy, but I'll give it to them. That was pretty good. I don't know yeah. how to rate this because like I said, I don't really eat sweets too much. 10. <laughs> really? 10. 10? 10. Ten. I, 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 I have a sweet tooth <clears throat> and I love crunchy shit. Knocked it out of the park. I mean, yeah. this, this was made for me. I think they did this on purpose. I'll just go with a safe seven. It's really good. I'm just not huge on sweets. I mean, I'm, I'm right there, man. I'm right there with Zach. I, I'd say that's an eight to a nine. Uh, any time of the day, you need a your sweet treat. Um, evening, it's after a lasagna. Um, Zach is a, is a huge notorious uh, bringing something rice crispy uh, treats. rice crispy treat something for a sweet tooth right before bed get your dessert in go to bed uh, that th that kind of thing Patrick was a big fan of candy mm -hmm. it's something sugary sweet to kind of change that palate at the end of the night and this is gonna do that you're gonna you're gonna pull that out of your pack at, at any time of the day and all your buddies are gonna be like this yeah they're, everyone's <laughs> gonna want some <laughs> yeah. if Freddie Wise made peanut butter packets I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> That would be my go-to. That's my sweet uh, this snack. Little, this last little snack here is just a cookie dough medley. That looks good. So we got, looks like sugar cookie, chocolate chip cookie, and like a double chocolate chip cookie mm. in here. 110 calories. How's the sugar content comparison? Low again, six grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs. Total sugar, seven per uh, half yeah. the bag. Yeah, two servings in the in here. So, and it's so there's 220 calories 220 per packet in the bag. Yep, that's right. So make sure I get so quite a bit less than the uh, other cookie doughs. Yeah. Gotta make so sure not bad good. though. I mean, 220 calories, Zach. That's uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That's like a Nature Valley granola bar. Yeah, neat <clears throat> here. Yep. Nature, Nature. Yeah, something like that. So I got a little one. bit of all of them: sugar cookie, double chocolate, and chocolate chip. All right, hit it. Ooh. I'll do singles this time. It's <laughs> 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 a pretty cool review, guys. Oh, wow. I like this food. They're stuff. different, but they're the same. Mm hmm. Gluten free, peanut free, dairy free. Mmm. Whoa. It, it, this reminds me of like a sweet sugary mm -hmm. cereal I would have wanted as like a kid. Mm -hmm. And just without milk. It's just kind of like a dry, it's not Dude. quite that texture, but like flavor wise, it's like a sugary cereal. Mm -hmm. This to me is exactly what you would expect the title of the package to taste like. Mm -hmm. It's cookie crumbles, ready to go, open the bag up. You're, you're off and running, it's a quick snack. This is perfect for what we do in the backcountry hunting. You're glassing, you just take a handful, throw them in, glass them, do your thing, tripod sitting. That bag would not last camp. long if it was sitting oh. next to me while I was Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> at camp, you know, riding out a storm, at camp glassing. Yep. I mean, any time of the day, that's a quick snack. Uh, that to me, that that's a nine again. Like, that's exactly what I'm looking for. It packs a punch, it's flavorful, it has enough calories to, kind of cure that hunger shakes, if you will, mm -hmm. um, enough to keep you going. And you're gonna be excited to pull that out of your backpack every and, single time. And this bag is super light. It's 1.8 ounces for this bag, but you could take, you could easily take and get rid of this bag. Yeah, I was just gonna say, there's these, no need for that bag to be that large. Yeah, dump these into like a small Ziploc or combine them with one of these and yeah. dump everything into a Ziploc and cut out some of this bulk. Yeah. And then you're going to be even lighter because these things are just crazy light. Yeah, they don't weigh anything. There is no need for the packaging to be that big. So I could say yeah. if I have one gripe uh, to ready-wise, it would be the packaging is just completely unnecessary. It's too large. 
Um, other than that, for, for no, these, it's the right yeah, size. For right the size meals. for the meals. The snacks, I mean, the the cookie dough bites are down here. Yeah. Then you have all this unnecessary stuff, but you got to have. Most packaging is like that. Yeah, and like ReadyWise is catering to the that preparation, mm -hmm. that storage in your storage closet, your garage. It doesn't care how big it is, but mm -hmm. if we're wanting to use it over what we do, backcountry hunting, uh, where we count our ounces and all that kind of thing. Just repackage. Um, it. Yeah, repackage. Uh, there's no need to that big a bag. That's my only gripe. The flavor is there. The food's there. I give nine and a half for that one for me. Oh yeah, nine to ten for me. I'm right there. I'm right there with him. So I gave this one a seven. Uh, again, I'm not a big sweets guy, but I'll give this one a seven and a half. I like that one better. Mm. Uh, so everything we tried, I would definitely put in my backpack and go hunting, hiking, whatever. It's all good food. If if I had to cut one, I would cut the mac and cheese for me. Everything else is staying in my bag. Um, but if I have to pick one. I would say the mac and cheese is out. Let's all pick one to just kind of show the severity <clears throat> of what we're up against. Breakfast skillet's gone for me. Breakfast skillet's I, gone. I'm not a big breakfast guy, especially like a warm breakfast guy when I'm out. I'm like, uh, eat a bar, call it good. Um, so if I was gonna eat this, I would probably eat it as a dinner and do like with tortillas. Mm. But I think, I, I'm just not that big of a breakfast guy. So I think I would, that would be the one that I would, I would get rid of. I gotta try it again. The, the rest of them I would take. Mac and cheese, spicy noodles, lasagna. lasagna. Yeah, I would eat all of it. That one in a tortilla, though. That would that would be different. This for, one, for a tortilla, and some Taco Bell hot sauce packets. Um, if you haven't ever done that, Cappuccino you're welcome. Packets, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Steal, uh, ask for extra hot sauce packets next time at Taco Bell, if you frequent that place, and take it home. Put it in your pack, tortilla, Taco Bell hot sauce packets, you're off and running. I'm just gonna keep eating them. <laughs> Bob, you have to leave one. I know. Uh, for so the I'm sake trying of the to. Video. So I'm Which trying to figure leave? out. I'm just eat, gonna eat more cookie dough bites. That's what I just Okay, did. for me, if I'm leaving something, it's uh, one of the, probably that one. You're leaving one of the. Sweeties. I'm leaving the sweets. Nice. Okay. If you had to to leave a meal behind, one of the leave one of the no four meal meals. behind. That's Which Bob's one, Bob? Motto. Man. That was good. <laughs> That's my least favorite. It's funny because both of us like that one. I think, yeah, both of you guys gave the mac and cheese That is delicious. Score. Um, if I had to leave a meal. Leave a meal. Uh, it's going to be the Asian noodles. Really Asian good, noodles. just that, lacking the protein. and. That one, the one that thing that worries me with Asian noodles <clears throat> is day after. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's, you're gonna get ring sting. I think sure. trouble. Your O-ring is on fire. Yeah, that one, that makes me nervous, but almost worth it for that different flavor. I wish, I wish they could smell this, because mm -hmm. the smell is there. It smells amazing. You would never guess that we just had an awesome steak dinner. <laughs> we just can't stop eating stuff. I know. Dude. The spicy Aiden noodles, dude. <laughs> they have a bunch more flavors, too. We'll have to reach out and see if we can get some more flavors. Because <clears throat> these ones all impress. I want to try more. I, if they got a and g send it here, Big Daddy. Biscuits and gravy. Yeah, we'll have to see what else. I know they got, like, <clears throat> some like oatmeal kind of breakfast <clears throat> that we need to try. And they have more snacks as well, like freeze-dried fruits. So, like, apples, strawberries, bananas, pineapple, <clears throat> stuff like that. That'll be another like little snack. I strongly stand behind my nine and a half for that lasagna. It is very good. Uh, I forgot what gosh. I rated it, but it's damn good. Yeah. Yeah, my initial impression of uh, Ready Wise was before eating it, their disaster preparedness, it's not gonna be that good. Mm -hmm. But after eating all of that, I am very surprised. Yeah. yeah. Again, we're not paid. They did send us these meals to try, but I would for sure put all of this into my hunting pack. Pleasantly 100%. surprised. Very and nice. if you don't believe us, check us out next weekend in the Shed Woods in Turkey and you'll, we'll be eating these. So, mm. uh, yeah. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you uh, haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, comment down below your favorite meal in the backcountry. What are you excited for mostly at camp? Uh, if we haven't tried it, I guarantee we will. Especially old Bob over here. This guy can put it down. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. See ya. See ya. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment or hit the like button. And also, on your way out of here, if you hit the subscribe button, that'd mean a lot. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified upon every upload. Thanks so much. We'll catch you in the next video.